there's murder, so hopefully there is. I like murder, so that sounded creepy. Let's not take that out of context. <laughs> And today I'm here with yet another book haul because anytime I go to the thrift store, I can't control myself and always pick up more books. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book I have I'm actually so excited about because it's like a recently released thriller. And you know your girl loves her thrillers but it is the woman in the window by aj finn and i've heard kind of mixed things about this a lot of people do really like it but then some other people are saying that it's really predictable personally i hate when i'm able to call the end of books so i'm hoping that it's not predictable but it follows a woman who's very recluse she stays inside her house and she really likes spying on her neighbors and then one night she sees something that she's not supposed to and everything kind of takes a massive turn after that but that's all I really know about it but I'm really excited about it because I just I love me some thrillers so I was very excited when I found this. The next book I have was one that was on my most anticipated list when it first came out so I like squealed when I saw it and it was half price day so it was only like a dollar so you girl wants that very ecstatic but it is Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. The book follows a couple who are like deemed perfect by everybody they know but they are holding a lot of secrets behind closed doors. See what I did there? See what I did there? But I'm very excited. It's another thriller, so. The next one that I have is Still Mine by Amy Stewart, and this follows a girl named Claire who's on the run, and she ends up in this small town where a girl named Shayna actually went missing. People are kind of wondering who Claire is and what her story is, and then they discover that she actually has a connection to Shayna, and they're trying to, you know, feel her out. So, again, another thriller. The next book I have, I honestly just got because it was like buy four get one free. I've heard of the author. I didn't really like her other book. It's Genuine Fraud by E. Lockhart. I read We Were Liars. Didn't really like it because I found it super predictable. I haven't really heard that much about this one. A lot of the big booktubers got sent it for review but they didn't really ever give their like thoughts about it. They were just kind of like, I have this book. So I don't know what we're gonna feel about it. The next one that I have is There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. The only thing I know about this one is that it's Stephanie Perkins horror novel. A lot of people said it was really bad but I like Stephanie Perkins fluffy contemporary and I love thrillers so I'm hoping that I don't find it bad but I guess we'll see if I ever actually get around to reading it because I am notorious for just buying books and never reading them. And then the final book that I have is Ruby Red and this is by Kirsten Gear. All I know about this is that it's time travel. It's been around on booktube forever, but I've never read it. I feel like time travel could be fun, so I'm sad because it's not like the pretty new covers for this series. It's like the first covers of the series, which like, I mean like girls in dresses are cool, but the other ones are so much prettier. All right guys, so that was my super quick book haul. Let me know down below if you've read any of these and what you thought of them, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs>